Sairam students, I welcome all of you once again. As you know that we had already started with lesson number four, disaster management. Let's recall once again whatever we have learnt in the last lecture. We had seen that there are certain frightening incidences which occurs naturally. So, what are the frightening incidences which occurs naturally? Earthquake, drought, tsunami. fire cyclone volcanic eruption so these are the natural disaster which occurs naturally okay so these are the disaster which causes tremendous loss of the human being also they causes loss of the environment also and other animals also so what is basically disaster students which we had learned so disaster is a sudden event that causes large scale damage to the life property and the social aspect of a nation or society so this sudden event which is occurring this is called as what disaster because they are coming without giving us invitation okay and we had also learned that there are two type of the disaster basically man made disaster and the natural disaster the disasters which are caused by natural forces the disaster which are caused by natural forces we call them as what natural disaster so in natural disaster uh, what will come in natural disaster volcano earthquake cyclone storm landslides etc will come under the natural disaster and what are the man made disaster the disaster which are caused by human activities the disaster which are caused by human activities we call them as what man made disaster like sometime forest uh, fire also okay and sometime uh, collapsing of the building oil spill war terrorism so these are certain example of the man made disaster okay and if you remember we had seen one more thing in the last lecture one disaster we have learned that is about the earthquake right so what is basically earthquake the earthquake it is nothing but seismic waves which causes vibrations or quaking in the earth crust so when vibrations created in the earth crust okay so these vibrations are called as what earthquake and one incidents we have learned uh, in killari at latur district there was huge earthquake which occurred in in year 1993 i hope so you remember that incidents which i told you okay so this is the basically earthquake which causes disaster and it can happen any time anywhere we are not prepared for that but we can learn how to face this disaster if at all it happens okay not only earthquake students there are many kind of such disaster which might damage our lives so what's that let's see one by one so see students today we are going to learn about the flood okay basically what is a flood you can see and you can recognize from the picture which is given to you so you can see that here in the flood what you can see heavy rain you can see okay and because of the heavy rain you can see that the water has been accumulated in all over the area okay houses and uh, gardens everything is submerged under the water correct so frequently occurring natural disaster in all parts of the earth is the flood and this flood why it is causes this flood causes because of the frequent raining because of the frequent raining this flood is happening due to the excessive rain in the same place a river overflows when river overflows its banks it causes the flood automatically okay so that's why untimely rain is the main reason for causing the flood and in this flood even many people lost their lives etc okay uh, and sometime because of the flood in our city also you must have noticed the water drainage system in the big cities falls short when there is a heavy rainfall which results in the choking of the gutters and the drainage line you must have seen such kind of the water which accumulates on the all over the roads am i right so right now also student the rainy season has been started so because of the excessive rain and right now also because of the covid 19 uh, government did not get time to clean out the drainage area right 
so as the drainage is not cleared out as the uh, drainage are not properly cleaned out so now what is happening the rain water it is started accumulating inside the drainage water and once this drainage are also overflowed these overflowed drainage they are coming on the roads and even sometime this rain water this flood water it is coming in our home also okay and sometime this rain water it is getting mixed in a uh, drinking water also it is getting mixed into the uh, drinking pipeline also so that's why we have to be very careful uh, when such things are happening and one more thing students remember that during rainy season we receive contaminated contaminated water at our home so that's why we have to boil water properly and then only we have to consume otherwise there are the chances that we might suffer from the cholera jaundice, uh, jaundice okay and we might suffer from the infectious diseases like even typhoid also so in order to avoid that always make sure you will drink safe water okay and one more thing student you must have noticed that this water overflows on the roads and surrounding area and even sometime this water enters the nearby houses also okay and because of the open drainage which are present on the roads uh, that's why you must have seen that many of the accident also occurs on the roads okay and that's why this is a basically main reason the flood is happening and because of the flood we are not prepared so we have to be mentally prepared and we have to gain the knowledge how to face the flood if at all if happens okay so what are the side effects of the flood students you can see that if flood happens then huge loss to the life and the property so many of the people lose their lives even many uh, animals also get dead because of this flood okay and because of the flood soil erosion basically occurs and because of the soil erosion students the fertility of the soil get decreased and destruction of the standing crops and we are not able to get the crops we are not able to uh, get our required crops on time because of the heavy flood because this uh, rain water they wash uh, they wash out everything even they wash out the all type of the crops also and again effect of the uh, flood like spread of the diseases and epidemic affecting the health of the people as well i just told you that okay uh, during flood and during rainy season we get contaminated water and if we drink such contaminated water then we might suffer from infectious diseases like typhoid cholera jaundice okay so that's why students in order to avoid all kind of this infections we have to be extra careful and we have to drink safe water okay so these are the effects of the flood which we have just learned after the flood students you must have heard the incidents of the mumbai in 2005 correct uh, so you must have heard that even today also even today also people of mumbai shudder at the memory of the july 2005 when many people had lost their lives in the deluge caused by the heavy rain even today also the incidents of the 2005 the mumbai kids are not at all able to forget that incidents that was the major incidents which happened in the history okay and because of this 2005 of uh, because of this 2005 flood because of this 2005 flood you can see that the people of the mumbai has already lost their lives also okay which is tremendous loss and uh, this memory is now it's like a nightmare to the people and even do you know that student in november 2015 in november 2015 many people died due to the flooding caused by heavy rain in the tamil nadu so there are many such incidences where damage caused to the people damage caused to the property just because of the heavy rain these are just the examples okay so after that students uh, during rainy season storm is also invited knowingly unknowingly the storm has to come am i right last month also we heard about the cyclone and this tremendous amount of the storm they basically occurred in ratnagiri and kokan area and alibag side etc and even there was the huge loss of the property you must have heard so what is basically storm student the formation of 
high and low air pressure belt i repeat once again the formation of high and low air pressure belt in the atmosphere causes changes in the weather resulting in a strong winds or storm so because of the strong winds basically the weather changes and it causes disruption it causes damage to everything even it can causes damage to the environment as well okay you so what are the basically effects of this storm what happens when storm occurs you must have seen that because of this storm great damage in the storm affected region that means what student you must have seen many of the time because of this storm big big trees they fall down immediately okay and because of the storm you must have seen uh, like uh, many of the houses they also get collapsed okay so these storm can cause maximum damage to the uh, property as well as the affect the overall region where it is occurred and again because of this storm disruption of the electricity supply because of this storm sometime it happens that the electricity uh, you know tower etc they also get destroyed and that's why the people who are suffering from uh, you know storm region area they are not supplied with the proper electricity because of the uh, electricity shortage over there and one more thing disruption of the transport and the communication because of the network issue because of the uh, road blockage etc we are not able to do the proper transportation and communication in the region where storm has arrived so even the storm can cause maximum damage to the everything environment as well as the people and the most importantly guys uh, not only the storm and the flood even the forest fire the forest fire is also the one of the biggest disaster which can be occurred any time anywhere so sometime these forest fire basically they are uncontrolled fire in the forest we really cannot control the fire if at all if they happened in the forest they are uncontrollable they can just go on spreading at the rapid rate and sometime this forest fire it could be natural and sometime this forest fire it could be man made also so man made natural fire and the man made forest fire and natural forest fire both can cause serious damage to the environment so what serious damage this forest fire can cause to the environment let's see that over here let me tell you that student these great damage to the natural wealth and the biodiversity natural wealth means what students the forest is the home for the different different type of the animals correct just imagine that student if forest caught into the fire then what will happen to the what will happen to the animals which are living there ultimately the animals will die am i right and even the forest has different variety of the plants also different variety of the trees also so the all different variety of the plants all different variety of the trees they will also get destroyed within fraction of second what is the meaning of biodiversity bio means living thing diversity means variety so the variety of the living things mean variety of the plants variety of the animal which are basically found in the forest area so just imagine that if the forest area caught into the fire then many type of the animals and many type of the plant they will die immediately they will destroy within fraction of second and most importantly the pollution of the air will be caused because of the forest fire you know that the forest are the lungs of the earth am i right the plants they are giving us oxygen for breathing plants are giving oxygen for respiration and if because of the burning process because of the burning process when you know plants gets into the fire they release tremendous amount of the carbon dioxide out so if the plants are destroyed then oxygen level will go down and the carbon dioxide level will go up and this carbon dioxide level causes the pollution okay so students the forest fire can cause damage to the biodiversity they cause damage to the environment and even they can cause damage to the air also even they can cause causes the air pollution as well 
and uh, students we must have heard about the uh, forest fire which occurred in the australia in month of january right so this is the one of the picture uh, from the australia uh, australia bush fire you can see that student over here according to the reports it has been reported that nearly about 480 millions of animals can you imagine 480 millions of animals 480 millions of animals have been lost their lives due to the burning in the forest in the australia just imagine that 480 million number students we can't even imagine that and this australia fire causes tremendous air pollution not only the australia fire student we must have heard about the amazon rainforest also even the amazon rainforest it also got uh, caught into the fire in month of december 2019 okay then it was the amazon rainforest it was looking like this it was completely greenery and again the amazon rainforest it is called as the lungs of the earth and just because of the forest fire in the amazon rainforest now the situation is like this can you see the difference in the both of the picture once the green plants now they turned out completely into the ashes and it is also leading to the tremendous you know uh, leading to the air pollution now few of them might be thinking that okay fine the australia got into the fire the amazon rainforest got into the forest fire we are in india we are safe let me tell you that student the environment the air which we are breathing it is common for everybody correct although the amazon forest fire and australia forest fire directly and indirectly the air from that region it is going to come here this side also and even this air pollution is responsible for global warming okay so directly and indirectly the result of this thing we have to also suffer okay so that's why student these are the natural disaster which are occurring by and then and we have to face that okay so what we have today students today we learnt about the flood so what are basically flood why it causes flood causes because of the excessive rain in the same place a river overflows its bank and then it causes the flood okay what else we have learnt students we learnt that because of the heavy rain the storm is also invited with that okay so the formation of high and low air pressure bed in the atmosphere causes the changes in the weather resulting in strong winds and the storm even this storm causes maximum damage to the property and the lives as well as to the environment also and what else we learned today we learned about the forest fire a forest fire is uncontrolled fire in a forest or grassland due to the natural or man made causes understood students now so students we have to be uh, alert for all kind of the disaster so in the next session we will learn about how we can take the preventive measure to control and to face all this disaster okay so see you in the next session bye take care